London, the city, is the capital of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. The city of London sounds like the same thing, but it's different. The city, as it is often called, covers approximately one square mile of central London, running along the Thames River near the Tower of London, eastward past the Blackfriars Bridge. It's not a borough, it's a separate city within a city, with its own Lord Mayor who lives here in Mansion House. It was built in 1754 and overlooks the Royal Exchange in the Bank of England. The city is the oldest part of London. It dates back to when the Romans settled the area nearly 2,000 years ago. Today, the city is the financial center of Great Britain. About 7,000 people live in the city, but each day, 300,000 come to work in its banks, brokerage firms, and insurance companies. The city is filled with interesting places like the Royal Exchange, founded by Queen Elizabeth I in 1568. The original building was destroyed by the Great Fire of London in 1666, as was its successor. The current exchange dates from 1844. A statue of the Duke of Wellington, formed out of melted down cannons captured in war stands guard. Today, the exchange has been transformed into a place for very high-end retail establishments and restaurants. The Bank of England is just across Threadneedle Street from the exchange. The bank is the central bank of the United Kingdom. It was established in 1694. The buildings we see today were built over a period covering 1734 to 1828. A few blocks away, you find one of the icons of the modern-day London skyline. This is 30 St. Mary Axe, known affectionately or derisively as the Gherkin, because it is thought by some to resemble a pickle. The 41-story glass office tower opened in 2004. It was built on the site of a building heavily damaged by an IRA terrorist bomb in 1993. Lloyd's of London is also renowned for its bold architectural style. The current Lloyd's is located at number one Lime Street, it's often called the Inside Out Building because all of its services, including elevators, are on the outside of the building. Lloyd's is a corporation made up of individual brokers and corporations who insure some of the most expensive projects in the world. The building opened in 1986 and was built on the site of a Roman forum. If you're looking for something more traditional, you don't have to go far. On the backside of Lloyd's is the Leadenhall Market, there's been a market here since Roman times. The current Victorian era market building was built in 1881 and has appeared in numerous motion pictures, including several in the Harry Potter series, where it represented the part of London that was home to the leaky cauldron in Diagon Alley. You will find lots of narrow streets and passageways in the city and places like Ye Old Cheshire Cheese, just off Fleet Street. It's the oldest public house in London, dating from 1538. It was one of the first buildings rebuilt after the Great Fire. Charles Dickens and a host of literary figures were regulars. Much of what we see today in the city came as a result of the Great Fire of London, which began in a bakery on Pudding Lane on September 2, 1666. One of the first things built out of the ruins was this 202-foot stone column with a golden urn of fire at the top. The monument was designed by Sir Christopher Wren as a memorial to those who died and the city that went up in flames. Visitors can climb to the top and look out over the modern-day city of London. You will also see the greatest example of Wren's genius, St. Paul's Cathedral, built on the highest point in the city, Ludgate Hill, after the Great Fire. It was finished in 1720. From the top of St. Paul's, you get a panoramic view of the city, including new landmarks like the Shard on the south bank of the Thames, near London Bridge. London is an endlessly fascinating city, and the city of London, the city within a city, plays a big part in that fascination.